Hey, everybody. This is Vince Gilligan, creator of Breaking Bad. Brian Cranston, play Walt and directed this episode, 201. Aaron Paul, and I play Jesse. I am R.J. Mitty, and I play Walt Jr. I am Anna Gunn, and I play Skylar White. I'm Betsy Brandt. I play Marie. This is our second season, so we uh, Sony's insisted that we shoot it all in black and white. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> just to save some money. <laughs> How'd you make this eyeball turn? That's magic. I can't disclose that. They had filament, monofilament, and... Uh, a, a guys on each side of that eyeball and slowly twisted it up oh. and digitally erased the uh, monofilament so oh. you couldn't see it. We had scuba diving uh, camera operators inside the pool to be oh. able to pull that off. Did yeah. you get in the water? Oh, no. No, 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 no. of course not. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Brian doesn't like to get wet. No, no, no. Tight, 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 yeah. Sorry, that's our favorite line tight, ever. Tight, 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 tight. That's our favorite line oh, ever. Ray Cruz. <laughs> yes. So that when we came back for the second season, the wrecking yard dismantled everything. And, oh, yeah, And so right. we had to come back and completely recreate it. Now, did you actors have to pitch in and, like, literally lift stuff and move it around by hand? Yes. Of course. We're a low budget. <laughs> I wasn't working that <laughs> like day. Brian called film. me and said, get over here, yeah. gun. Let's we called cars. you a bunch bring, of bring, bring your lifting belt. I said, Anna, right. I have a, got a cupcake for you. <laughs> and I said, ooh, a cupcake. I'll do it. <laughs> These guys, oh boy, it, this became very brutal. Yeah, I, I don't know why he had to really punch that I guy. know, he actually really did it. I know. Over and over again. Yeah, take after take. Actors. You, know how, you know how hard it was to get that uh, guy to the hospital in time? I know. He almost died. Oh my God. That was obviously a joke earlier about nobody got hurt in the making of this. No. Yeah. You never know what That's the make. disclaimer at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, no one was hurt in the making <laughs> of this. Actually, sometimes we put no one was unhurt in the making of this. <laughs> yes. I remember setting up this shot because uh, I was so into wearing my director's hat that I forgot I had this huge monologue to deliver. And I and I said, okay, and, and I really talk in third person. Okay, Walt sits in and, they, and Jesse sits in with Walt and then all of a sudden they talk and I go, oh, God. I have some acting. I have wow. some acting to do. I, I get that thing out. Wow. It's like, yeah, it's an, it's an odd feeling. I don't know how actor directs at the same time they're acting. I don't know how you did this. I was very impressed. Well, my secret is that I don't do either one very well. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm quick. Untrue. I'm bad, Untrue. but I'm quick. <laughs> I, we should have, uh, one of these days, we should have uh, Mark Hansen, our wonderful prop master, in on one of these things. That money is a big deal for him, because it's, you, you can't just photocopy money. It's a big deal getting yeah. it as a prop, because you, you know, there's, there's a, all kinds of legal hoops you have to go through yeah. in order to be able to But don't they sometimes it. wrap the outside of the the fake wad of money with real bills? I've seen them do that. I know, I and, do when I'm paying for things. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We, in uh, yeah. the pilot, we used... <laughs> We use actual uh, hundreds, and then we lost a couple of them. And uh, the prop master, the different I prop master. I thought we used real money. Yeah, and that's why you have a different prop master. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, he he was very mad because he said I'm responsible for all this, and then he, uh, I don't know, and no one ever caught me. So. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this, was, <laughs> this was hard because we're asking the actor to be able to be deadlifted up and then allow himself to be dropped in. The actor was fitted with like this metal brace that went around his entire rib cage and any organs that are in his torso. And so that when Tuco comes up and starts kicking him, that we don't actually damage the actor. And it was also for the CPR here. Yeah. Yeah. To be able to slam down on his chest. Yeah. yeah. I love these two guys. The the big guy in the background. I remember his name is uh, Jesus Pian, but they yeah. call him Jesus Jr. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, Jesus Jr. was uh, right before we hired him for this, he was... Uh, he was in a big uh, box store uh, to be unnamed, and they he wanted to get a photo of himself at their photo department, and they wouldn't take his photo because they said he was a gangbanger, and they huh. photograph gangbangers. And he's just a very wow. he's not a, he's not a gangbanger. Yeah. He's just a very very sweet guy, very sweet young man. I thought it was interesting because of course I shot it to where you actually saw the body being hit and struck by the boot of Tuco, and yet uh, in in the final edit it's not in here. And I but I think it's more effective just to use your imagination. I can't uh, remember while we cut it. Yeah. Might have been just to break your spirit. Uh, and, and it's worked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a shell of a man now. Dennis Milliken, who you mentioned earlier, is our transpo captain, right. who 
provides our uh, picture cars, including the uh, the great uh, Monte Carlo here that uh, Jesse drove through all all this season. But it's a it was a real piece of crap, right? I mean, it hardly yeah. ever ran. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was always leaking oil. You couldn't take it to certain locations because it would just piss in hydraulic fu- fluid it, everywhere. But it has hydraulics, so that's uh, what really yeah, matters. Yeah. 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 Oh, the hey. Oh. Be- Betsy, whose who's belly who's is that? Belly? That was that's p- my belly. I didn't know that. Yeah. That was Betsy's that's belly. That's my belly. Uh, we did a pickup when I was however many weeks. The people probably don't know this. You were pregnant all through uh, season two of this season here. And they would not know because I had many big purses <laughs> hiding yeah. the purses. beautiful belly that we just hiding. saw. And pillows and whatever else we <laughs> and can And pillows and counters. Yeah. And, and we should tell the world I was so what. happy, though, that my, that we could use um, my belly to do that instead of, you know, because didn't we have a, a fake one made? Oh, yeah. Seen, yeah. Yes, fake, there was a fake f- belly, that, and it just didn't look quite as good. You can see you, folds. Yeah, and the skin yeah. tone didn't yeah. look quite right, yeah. even, though, gr- quite, the, even yeah. though they did a makeup did a beautiful job was with it. it? Yeah. Great football. And it smelled like bread, right? It smelled like bread and <laughs> rubber. What rubber belly bread. doesn't smell like bread? <laughs> well, you guys got a big scene coming up here. Oh, boy. You want to start talking about it before you we get We can to start it? talking well, about you know, it. Walt is just made hot He's by avocado face masks. <laughs> what I felt was, was a rape scene. Was, were these moments here where he just witnessed this brutal beating and is so devastated and yet can't speak about it that he just needs and yearns for comfort and some tenderness of any kind. And what happens to Walt is that he he misplaces that tenderness and he gets he gets sexually aroused. So he, he gets confused about the moment. It's the need to put that somewhere. Yeah. It really. <laughs> Literally. Well, I mean, so <laughs> That's what she oh, said. My. That's what she said. What was interesting about how we did the scene was that I, um, Vince was so clear in the stage directions about little pieces that you see the underwear coming down and the hand on the refrigerator and things yeah. like that. And Brian and I blocked it all out. We never Never actually did it until the cameras were rolling, which yeah. I thought was a wonderful way to do it. Usually, you know, you 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 run it a few times in rehearsal, but we just blocked it. We just did that sort of at blocking speed, and then we went into it. I'm, I've never acted in my life. I can only imagine how exhausting a big emotional scene like this must be. How many times did you guys actually shoot it, or you know, takes? Uh, three times, I guess, Probably something like times. from three different angles. But yeah. uh, there was an accident in, in one of them, and, and I accidentally pushed Anna too hard into the refrigerator, and she smacked her head on. Ooh. On the side of it, and, yeah, and then went down, and it was already an emotional scene. And so, when you work these things out, you have to work them out without anyone getting hurt. And if someone does get hurt, we've failed to a certain extent. Sure, you know what I mean. There's young Master RJ. What <laughs> went on here? Oh damn! Oh, Dad raped really? mom again. Darn it! <laughs> The Dog oh House. Goodness. This is a real place in Albuquerque yeah. that sells very good hot dogs. I love the Dog House. That was a nice touch you did, Brian. The avocado dip uh, salsa, whatever. They used that from the d- other day. That matches uh, what was on Anna's face. <laughs> Sir, that was in the script. Oh, it was? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So, well done, Ben. This, that's a great shot. Yeah, yeah. That's a great shot. Out. Should mention at this point the writer of this episode, Jay Roberts. Yes. A wonderful writer yeah. who was uh, my assistant on the pilot, and then he became a writer of yeah. the show. Did a great sure. job. I love this scene. I love every scene in this oh, scene. I like this scene too. This scene, I love the way you talk over each other. We rehearsed all these scenes in the kitchen, and I had this idea that I wanted to make it messy because their lives are messy. So, And I wanted him to go mixing in and out. And yeah. This was shot on a stage. Even though you can see the RV in the background and we're at Jesse's house, uh, this was our, our stage set. The, the very nice lady who, who owned the house that Jesse lived in since the pilot in this particular season, put it on the market, sold it. This was our last episode of this season. Uh, we were able to use it. But yeah, later on in the season, uh, Jesse moves into another apartment and his, his mom and dad kick him out because they realize there's a meth lab in the basement. And, and all of that came about story-wise. God, they're because so... Ooh, tough love. You take your meth lab. Yeah. Get out, son. <laughs> and hey, that's why you got a gun, right? You show your parents who's boss. Show you who's boss. <laughs> but it's so funny the way people think you got all this stuff planned out months and years in advance story-wise. And the reason in season two here in the uh, DVD box that you have, and as you watch it, and Jesse moves out of his house, and not in this episode, but later, 
All of that is because we had a very real, real-life problem in the fact that we no longer had the ability to shoot in this real house. So we had to come up with all this. Yeah. <laughs> this so, purple. So I love this scene. Betsy Brandt. Have we ever used that again? I just had this idea to have the automatic <laughs> dialing thing. I thought it was cool. We, Call Skylar. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> How many months were you when we started the season right here, Betsy? How second many? trimester is the beginning of my second trimester. And uh, you're a wonderful uh, baby boy named Frederick. Yeah. Frederick. <laughs> right. He's real. He's very cute. He looks like Bam Bam from uh, oh the, my God. the Flintstones. He's always he's smiling. Just such a, oh, he's a chunk of love. He's just a chunk <laughs> he's of <junky>. love. <laughs> <laughs> the owner of this house is a very nice guy, Fred. And, 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 and his wife. And, yeah, June, wonderful, yeah. Wonderful folks. This is a nice neighborhood. Oh, this little so. boy is about to have his dreams shattered. What are you oh. talking about? You know, the shame of it was, in, uh, and we unfortunately couldn't do this, but Betsy wanted to drive over the little boy instead of the car. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wasn't there a giant rattlesnake during this day? Like, right by yes. the set? Yeah. Yes, yeah. In, a, in a trash can. Yeah. This, house trash is, uh, can? this house is located in the Northeast Heights, uh, right near the Sandia Mountains in Albuquerque. Not far from the tram? Is it? Not far from the tram, yeah. I love Marie's oh, right. Muzak. Yes. Muzak? Yes. Fantastic. I know, Thomas. I, <laughs> oh, poor oh. kid. I, was, I smashed that car on the first take. Yes, you well, did. Oh, that kid to wipe that sad look off his face because there's like nine more cars. I know, we had we had a I bunch of cars. I don't know, we better have six or seven of these. And... <laughs> I love that. I love that. Right got there. a bunch of downers. Got, I it's a great oh, Louise. Yeah. Like, yeah. Come on, stop bringing them up. No. That building, this is this you know? is these are clips from uh, from the first season, right? And this video was shot with a video camera, and we lost it, and it right. was lost for a week or two. Did and it go up in the balloon? I, I don't know where it went. I don't know. Finally, they found it because we were like, oh, my God. Well, it was in post-production, and, yeah. and the idea of just going out back to a location to re reshoot something like that is yeah. very expensive. Oh, God, And yeah. it, we have to redo this whole thing. We know we have it, and they finally found it. So oh, really Who had under it? Under Aaron Paul's bed. It was under Aaron Paul's bed. <laughs> <laughs> that Aaron, was. Aaron had taped over it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so it's true, true, though. <laughs> Some personal video and then an episode of SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> <laughs> SpongeBob is amazing. If you look very closely, this is actually a different vehicle. It's written very subtly that that's actually a different vehicle. That's actually not Tuco. It's just some dude, just some random dude. So the whole yeah. idea is it just it's just this whole thing spins out. Uh, the paranoia of Walt and Jesse spin out right. uh, based on coincidences and whatnot. This is when Skyler loved me. How many people have been there? Loved me? In my no. bed? <laughs> what? Yeah, both. What the heck? Well, both. This whole episode, 737, was called and named by the, uh, the amount that Walt feels he needs, $737,000, before he can leave this business. But then the um, the 737 also has a dual meaning, mm -hmm. which I think we, you want to reveal now, or you want to. Uh, anyone who's interested probably already knows about it. I read it on the internet. The 737 refers, as as Brian just said, to the amount of money he needs, but it also refers to something else. It's a little a little clue, a delicious little clue. Mm -hmm. mm, delicious. <laughs> Savory bacon. This is a nice Funions. shot. <laughs> By the way, this was uh, Michael Slovis's first uh, episode as That's director right. of photography. That's right. Slovy. Slovy. We love Slovis. I call him Iron Mike. This is one of my best, the, my favorite lines here from Jesse. Rice and beans. <laughs> rice and beans. Ah, oh, rice and beans. <laughs> Nothing beats <beans. laughs> I love that shirt. You still have that shirt? I think so, yeah. yeah. So, I love the Jesseisms. Didn't you say you were going to go all testicular on somebody? What yeah, are you all testicular on you. All testicular. <laughs> <laughs> you should say. See My the, favorite what? is still... <laughs> It's still cow house. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A cow from house. The, from the pilot, you can't yeah. think of yeah, the you word know. barn. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, the cow house. The, cow house where the, the cows live. <laughs> the cows. God, you're so stupid. Well, where the cows live. Do oh, I just spell it out for you? See, what, what we're wearing here, we also showed up at uh, Halloween, a Halloween party and oh, completely yeah. reversed our characters. So I wore all his garb and he came with a bald cap. You wore that actual outfit, I right? wore that actual yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you wore a bald cap and the glasses That's and the right. mustache. And yeah, it was amazing. It was so good. Our, Ooh, our makeup and hair people did a great job. 
What you looking and, at? And look real closely mm. here. That's uh, you know, uh, 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 Ted who is that guy? Ted Benneke. <laughs> so now I know where I can get my good looks from. I like me a little Benneke. Uh, She's thinking, it's so fun to go to Fridays. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love this scene. This is a great scene. I do too. This is also where Brian showed up dressed as a... Um, Hitler. Hit, well, not, <laughs> we didn't say Hitler. We didn't quite go that far. Dressed as a German director, wasn't that right? Or? Von Stroheim. Yeah. Eric von Stroheim. <laughs> was this the first day of shooting? First day of shooting, yeah, for, of my my uh, Thank God I wasn't first there. episode uh, directing. Yeah, so I just wanted to clown around a little bit, and they set me up with jodhpurs and boots and, <laughs> and the whole thing, and I had a riding well, crop yeah. and an eyepiece yeah, and Ke a Kathleen cigarette got ensemble thing for with, a, I mean, with a holder. Yeah, yeah. with a holder, the whole thing. She stole it from Gertrude Zachary's. I love how this thing... She stole a tiara, baby yeah. tiara. Yeah. <laughs> God. It is a really hard thing to get over. <laughs> We're working on it. We're working on it. Lukewarm water heater that leaks rusty looking crap and the water heater line here was just you want one or two more things, so we just made up. Oh, and and the water heater leaks. But <laughs> this was such a great speech and it was so memorable. We came back to we writers came back to it later in the season and said, what about that rusty water coming out of the water heater? And we put it uh, as a centerpiece of. Uh, Episode 10 of this season where Walt goes a little <laughs> nutty yeah. and, and finds a rod in the house and, uh, <laughs> and, and is replacing the water heater. Love this little hug. Yeah. He's like, like, I, can't, I don't know he's like, what I'm to here do. for you. <laughs> I'm, I'm uncomfortable. I'm very uncomfortable. Women crying. This basement set is a great set. Yeah. This is a, a set, yet another set, uh, made by our wonderful production designer, Rob Wilson King, and his crew, and yeah. W, uh, our wonderful uh, construction coordinator. Yeah. All this stuff looks so real. Lynn Willingham, our Emmy-winning editor, did just a masterful job in putting it together and making it make sense, but also in a concise way. In other, in other words, you're saying you gave her lots and lots of uh, That's exactly right. <laughs> I said, Lynn, I don't know how to put this together. Please save me. Go. Do what you do. It's always fantastic music. Yeah, really good music. It, uh, uh, Th uh, Thomas Goljevich, our wonderful music yeah. supervisor, finds, uh, and although most of the time the music is found after the uh, footage is shot and cut together. Can you actually send a photo this quick over the phone? No. No, well, nowadays, I imagine you can. Yeah. You were ahead of the times. Back in the old days, in ten the old months days. ago. Back, back in the... Uh, back in odd eight. Yeah, in odd eight. <laughs> <laughs> Every episode of this show, except for the pilot, which is shot in eight days, which, if you know anything about TV, is just it's, it's crazy. It should be more like ten or eleven. That's yeah, amazing. In the X Files, we had thirteen days, and then Did we often know? went way well, went way over that know, usually. No. Yeah. Episode oh. of X Files that I shot was sixteen days. Yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. That's what that's we shot. Crazy. The, yeah, that's what we shot the pilot of Breaking Bad in sixteen days. That was a stunt driver who drove up to the camera sure. right there. And we had the... Oh, that wasn't you? Oh, no, 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 oh. no, no, no. Trust me. They don't they, trust me driving. No, no, no. no. <laughs> they know better. Trust me, they don't trust him they with a car like trust that. Me. There was an episode last season where I was driving in, in an abandoned motel lot, and I, I have to exchange the money and this whole thing. So I drive in hot, and I hit the brakes, and I, I slid like I was on ice. <laughs> Bam! Right into the building. And I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> you know, and, and our producers immediately, they're running to see if I'm okay, but really, they wanted to see if the car was yeah. okay. But didn't you say, was this is was this too far? <laughs> yeah. I mean, everyone ran to look at the front. Oh, yeah. my God, he's flattening the tire. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, we only have one Aztec. <laughs> Anna is in the, the bathtub, and, you know, it's, it's difficult where you have an, an actor in there and you have to get that water hot. We built these sets. They're not practical sets, so we have the, the hot water doesn't flow through the pipe, so we have to keep the bubbles going and cover the necessary parts that need to be covered. The lady bits. And the lady bits. <laughs> the lady bits. And, uh, so in between takes, it's a bunch of grips blown into straws. That's right. <laughs> like, hey, oh, easy there, boys. <laughs> what was fun was watching when we did a screening for the crew, I think halfway through the season last year, we did, yeah. we screened this. And it was it's really a great way to watch it because everybody yeah. gets, oh, even though everybody knows right. what's yeah. happening, yeah. you know, to hear the collective, oh. Oh, and, and like, applause, that. like applause. Yeah. And, yeah, it's, yeah. It's we're going to do that again this yeah. year. We're yeah, we're doing it. We're going to have yeah. a screening a lot of fun. so that we crunch. Yeah. Oh, 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 you think you got enough candles there? 
I know. Well, b- between so the romantic. hot water and the candles, I was like, <gasps> somebody get me a fan. <laughs> <laughs> God, there are a lot of candles. It's and my you, own you, you know, it's like you, And on the toilet. <laughs> I know. So I was on the toilet. Oh, toilet. Oh, There's another instance where we didn't have uh, Ray Cruz on this night. He oh, was yeah. working on a different show. So we had to have... This was shot inside a, a, a warehouse. That little piece. That's not him either. But uh, So I just have his hand come in. And this, the back of his head is not the real Ray Cruz. Yeah. That is a crane shot. Yeah. They're just lifting up, slowly lifting well up. Well done, Brian Cranston. Well done, Just Brian. Yeah. 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 Way to go. Yeah. Good episode. It really it was a good episode. Yeah. I, look, yeah. I haven't seen that. In, it was. Yeah. I don't watch the show personally. But so <laughs> no, I don't watch so when I see these things, it's like, yeah, it's not a bad show. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. My parents say it's their favorite show. Uh, well, they they? Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, really? I don't know. Shocking. They might be a little biased, but they say it's their favorite show. My mom prefers Bones. <laughs> well, I mean. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Huzzah. <laughs>